My new six foot six point guard build with a 95 three point rating has me shooting from deep like I'm Curry. It also gets a 94 driving dunk and it gets the most insane contact dunk you've ever seen. And it also gets a 92 ball handle. So this build can speed boost very quickly and it can break ankles with ease every single time. And if we reach 2000 likes, I'll drop my new updated jump shot. I'll show you guys all my brand new SIGs and I'll even drop a full in-depth dribble tutorial. So leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into the build. So as you guys know, this year the build is very strict so i feel like there has to be a purpose behind every single build and i want you guys to know that this build right here is mainly a 3v3 build now listen yes you can use it in ones you can use it in twos and it's very viable in the fives as well but before we get into it i just want people to know that this build is for mainly 3v3 but you can really use it in the fives as well so feel free to make any changes you need depending on the mode that you play the most now for the position we're going point guard for the height we're gonna go six foot six I think the point guard position, the best height to go with this year is definitely six foot six. Um, any build taller, you don't get gold speed booster. It's very slow. And I really don't think it's worth making. Now, if you want to go shorter, like six foot five or six foot four, that is good as well, depending on your play style. But for this build, we're going six foot six. The weight, we're going 192 pounds. And the wingspan, we are going six foot six. Now, for the speed on this build, we're going to be rocking with an 86 to get badges like gold speed booster, gold hyperdrive, etc. You guys are going to see once we upgrade uh, the ball handle and the speed with ball as well. So, go with an 86 speed all right so for the acceleration this is literally up to you this is why i say use this build as a template change anything you want you can rock with a 73 uh to get silver blow by but on this build personally i had some leftover attributes and i decided to go with an 84 now listen we could go with an 83 just to get gold blow by okay like i said once we upgrade our ball handle and speed with ball you guys are going to see it's going to turn gold but we are actually going to go with an 84 to get slippery off ball on gold i do a lot of backdoor cuts on this build and it's very 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 cheesy especially if there's a really good defender on you with high defensive attribute ratings you're going to be able to slide right off of them and get a free dunk every single time so we're going with an 84 excel plus it makes you dribble really fast as well now for the vertical we're going to put this all the way up to an 82 the reason why we do that is because we're actually going to upgrade our driving dunk in a second um, and you need an 82 vert to get contact dunks on this game so make sure you guys go with an 82 vert if you're going to make this build i'm telling you don't take down the vertical leave it at an 82 now for the stamina we're just going to go ahead and max it out at a 99 and before i continue to show you guys this build let me tell you guys about the sponsor in today's video underdog the best way to play fantasy sports the pick'em game is the best thing about underdog. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is choose between two to five players that's going to be playing in the NBA playoffs. Pretty simple. You just pick higher or lower on those player stats. The crazy thing is you can win up to 100 times your money in one night. And as you guys know, the playoffs are here. So let's go over my picks tonight in the NBA. So for my first pick, I got Derek White going higher than 13 points. For my second pick, I got Jalen Williams going lower than 19 and a half points. And my third and final pick, I got Jalen Brown going higher than 20 and a half points. And if I get all three correct, I'm going to win up to $150. And Underdog is available to many states in the U.S., so make sure you guys check out this map right here to make sure that you are eligible. So make sure you guys sign up on Underdog.com or via the App Store using promo code ColeTheMan. Or you can even click the first link in the description and Underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. Don't miss out. And again, make sure you guys use code ColeTheMan. Shout out to Underdog again for sponsoring today's video. Now for the driving dunk, we're going to go ahead and max that out at a 94. And as you guys can see for the badges on the right side of the screen, we get some insane badges. Take a look. We get gold posterizer, Hall of Fame slithery, gold precision dunker, and we get gold aerial wizard, Hall of Fame bunny if you're into that. But I mean, just take a look at the badges we get. But yes, the badges are amazing. But the main reason why we're going with a 94 driving dunk is to unlock the dunk package. Yeah, with a 94 driving dunk, the badges are insane, but the main reason why we go with that is to unlock all of the insane contact dunk animations. I'm telling you, bro, on this build, I'm going to show you guys in a second, you get the most insane contact dunks, and with a 94 driving dunk, you're going to go insane. You're going to go crazy. Now, for the standing dunk, I highly recommend upgrading this to a 40 because you do get one standing dunk package out of 40, um, and it's very good. You know, in case like you have a really good defender on you and the contact dunks may not be working that game, um, you can run underneath the rim and get a standing dunk. Um, um, and it's very very viable now the finishing on this build has to be like by far the most fun part about this build with badges like gold posterizer hall of fame slithery and gold precision dunker like all three of those badges combined you get some of the most insane contact dunks i'm telling you bro it is so much fun i'm telling you man whether you play rec whether you play pro-am 3v3 in the park twos ones it don't matter 
Once you get these insane contact dunks, the whole party chat's gonna go crazy. It's a lot of fun with a 94 driving dunk. And the thing is that I noticed with this build with a 94 driving dunk is it doesn't matter who's guarding you. You're gonna be able to dunk on anyone. I get insane contact dunks on like any small guards that are trying to attempt to guard me. You know, any lockdowns that want to guard me or any centers that pick up from the corner in the wreck or threes in the park. Anybody that picks up on me, I am catching a body, bro. I'm dunking on anybody on this build. You're going to go crazy on it. And when you dot your teammates, they shoot it and they brick. I'm telling you, man, run to the paint and hold square for a putback dunk. I get some of the most insane putback dunks on this build. Overall, this build finishing is literally insane. Whether you're playing competitive, whether you're just having fun with the boys, late night, Friday nights, doesn't matter, man. Once you get on this build, you activate gold precision dunker, hall of fame, slithery, all those badges. You're going to go nuts. Going to have the whole party chat going crazy. But yeah, the finishing is a lot of fun. Let's move on to the shooting. Now for the three point rating on this build, we're going to be upgrading it to a 94 okay on my old six foot six build i went with a 92 but i figured out how to like cheese the build a little bit more and make it even more op so yes on this build we get a 94 three-point shot and we also get a 79 mid-range as well that's very good 79 mid-range is very good but take a look at the badges we get the difference from this build and my other six foot six with a 92 is we get agent three on gold instead of silver and if we scroll down you guys are going to see we also unlock hall of fame open looks on this build take a look at the other badges as well we get gold blinders we get gold dead eye we get silver limitless range we're going to be shooting from deep like curry on a six foot six build i mean you're literally you know you're a tall point guard and you can shoot from deep especially when you have takeover and i'm telling you right now even though you're the point guard you're still going to be doing a lot of catch and shoot shots so look take a look at these badges you get gold catch and shoot and you get a uh, hall of fame corner specialist you get green machine on gold very good a uh, hall of fame space creator if you're into that and you also get gold spot finder very underrated badge if you don't know how to use spot finder you should take a look at a tutorial because it's op boys i know it says i have a 94 three-point rating but if i play park or theater i actually get a 95 because i bought the plus one three-point sleeve i bought the plus one three-point sleeve in a vc bundle like two weeks ago i don't know if it's still there but in the park and in the theater i actually have a 95 three-pointer but in the pro-am and rec it still stays a 94. Now for the free throw i went ahead and put it up to 70 because i had a leftover attribute and i just put it there but yeah boys on this build you're gonna have so much fun in the park with a 95 three-point rating or in the rec or pro-am with a 94 i'm telling you man there's the three badges the three badges that i absolutely love right now are silver limitless range hall of fame open looks and gold agent three i'm telling you guys those three badges those three combos it's it's just a recipe for cooking bro you're gonna be able to cook you're gonna be able to shoot from deep and green very consistently 2k24 is just all about you know knowing what you're doing and with sharp take once you get that activated even though you have silver limitless range it basically turns into hall of fame limitless because you can shoot from deep and these badges stack on top of each other so with badges like hall of fame open looks bro i'm telling you if you are wide open with your meter off i'm telling you right now the green window is huge I can tell so much of a difference between a 95 slash 94 three-point rating compared to a 92 simply because of hall of fame open looks i shoot from deep it doesn't matter what mode ones twos threes fives it does not matter pro-am rec does not matter i'm shooting from deep shout out to hall of fame open looks because that badge is a game changer another underrated badge like i mentioned when i was showing off the three-point rating is gold spot finder i'm telling you man as the point guard if you dot a teammate and no one's open use spot finder man run around the court tapping r2 and dexing back and forth to try to get open and i'm telling you man it's it's so op i'll dot my teammate he won't be open then i'll just be dexing around back and forth he'll dot me and i'll be open with badges like hall of fame claymore gold spot finder gold catch and shoot gold green machine you know what i mean all these badges stack on top of each other and it opens up your green window by so much once you start going crazy in the paint start dunking on everybody everybody's gonna start eventually playing back and i'm telling you man when you have a 94 3 it's gonna be easy bro because they're gonna start playing back and you are gonna have open shots and you're gonna be draining them like curry baby but overall shooting is a lot of fun on this build I mean, I'm telling you, man, whether you have a 10 win percent or a 90 win percent, I think this build is for you. Whether you want to play competitive or whether you just want to play for fun with your boys, 
I'm telling you, man, this build, 94 three-point rating slash 95. If you get the sleeve, you're going to be going nuts, man. I'm telling you, it is worth upgrading it just like how I am now. And like I said, man, if you guys want this jump shot, let's get 2,000 likes on this video right now, man. 2,000 likes, and I'll show you all the jump shot. Now, on to the playmaking. Now, on this build, I went with a 77 pass accuracy. Now, listen, I will say the higher the pass accuracy, the better. I do think with an 84 or an 89 or even a 91 pass accuracy rating, it is 10 times better, okay? That is why I'm saying use this build as a template, change anything you want. But like I said at the beginning of this video, I use this build as a 3v3 build mainly. You can get away with a 77 pass accuracy in threes. Um, now, fives you can as well. Obviously, the higher the better in you know, competitive fives. But right now, I'm rocking with a 77, and like I said, this build is mainly for three, so just make sure you guys know. And the reason why we go with a 77 is to get bronze needle threader, so that's just a heads up. Now, for the ball handle on this build, we're going to be rocking with a 92 for multiple reasons. You get great dribble animations, and you also get amazing badges, okay? But the main reason why we do it is to get gold unpluckable, because you literally have to have that. You guys know defense this year is insane. If you go up against a defender that knows exactly what they're doing, and you don't have gold unpluckable, you're going to get ripped. So I'm telling you, man, as a guard, as a point guard, you got to be able to dribble. You got to be able to not get ripped. So that gold unpluckable is going to be very effective. And we also get gold ankle breaker as well. So that's going to be able to help you get ankle breakers and get open for three point shots. Now for the speed with ball, we're going to upgrade this to an 83 and take a look at the badges, boys. We get gold blow by gold speed booster, gold hyperdrive and gold triple strike. Like I said, use this build as a template. But I mean, if you're going to change things, there's certain things I would not change i would not change speed with ball or the speed um but if you want to you know if you want to mess with the acceleration you can but i'm telling you man i would not change speed with ball because you need gold speed booster if you don't get that you might as well just go six for seven or six foot eight but you're six six go gold speed booster boys like I said at the beginning of the video, man, if you guys want a full dribble tutorial, hit that like button, man. It's free. Drop a like right now. The second we hit 2,000 likes, I'm going to be dropping a full dribble tutorial. As you guys can see, man, I'm messing up all my defenders right now. I'm breaking their ankles. I'm speed boosting. I'm L2 canceling. I'm telling you guys right now. At first, I did not know how to L2 cancel. It took me a week to get it right. And now I know how to L2 cancel out of everything, every behind the back, every speed boost every crossover every time i want to speed boost l2 cancel i can so if you guys want a full on dribble tutorial leave a like yeah guys the playmaking on this build is absolutely insane i mean with a 92 ball handle and with an 83 speed with ball you're going to be able to move like lightning on this build especially with the current sigs that i have as well but to be able to move this fast you need badges like gold blow by you need badges like gold speed booster and gold hyperdrive it's going to make your player move 10 times faster than it does with a silver badge like i said man i mainly play 3v3 iso with this build i also hop into the wreck as well and i do play five outs but on this build Build, you're gonna be able to move very quickly and it's a lot of fun and if you're into doing a lot of the john wall snatchbacks you're gonna get a lot of ankle breakers to get you open for three with that 94 slash 95 three point rating but yeah the speed boosting is so much fun on this build whether you don't know how to l2 cancel or not you're still gonna be able to move pretty quickly and uh your defender is gonna be looking dumb i promise man with a 92 ball handle you're gonna be breaking ankles getting right past them every single time getting yourself open for a three point shot or even a dunk for the 77 pass accuracy, I'm not going to sit here and gas it up and act like it's a 91 pass accuracy rating or compare it to like even a 91. It's not at all. But a 77 is still quick. That's just a sacrifice we had to make on this build to get a 95-3, to get a 94 dunk, etc. But with a 77 pass accuracy, man, on fast breaks or at the half court setting, you're still going to be able to dot your teammates very, very quickly. And as you guys can see from this gameplay right now, I mean, I'm dotting my teammates in the corner. I'm dotting my teammates at the hash pretty quick. And the defender really doesn't even have time to close out but overall playmaking on this build is very fun like i said man i mainly use it for threes but it's very viable in fives as well you're gonna be able to speed boost l2 cancel break ankles and go absolutely insane again 2,000 likes on this video i got you guys with my sigs jump shot and a full in-depth dribble tutorial how to break angles l2 cancel and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and hop into defense now this is the thing i love about build videos there's always a few people that comment and say all builds trash got no defense right okay now i'm going to show you guys all the ratings 
on this build with de defensively and then i'm going to show you guys gameplay of it as well okay it can hold its own and i'm going to show you guys why now for the interior on this build i'm going to be upgrading it all the way up to a 73 now you could go 72 just to get silver workhorse but i went with a 73 because i had some leftover attributes now i want you guys to know i personally am a veteran too i'm about to hit vet three uh this year probably in like probably like a month but as you guys know at vet two if you're an elite you get plus two defensive attribute ratings on every defensive attribute so i'm going to be getting a 75 interior on this but with a 73 interior you're going to get a lot of stops even on bigs i promise it's very op now for the perimeter i'm going to be upgrading to a 58 just to get off ball pest on bronze to stop the backdoor cuts okay now listen i know there's going to be people in the comments saying why don't you just bring down interior why don't you just bring down perimeter bring down block bring down defensive rebound just to get steel okay listen on this build you're not going to be able to upgrade your still it costs way too much it's too expensive and it's not worth upgrading especially if you have a lockdown on the floor with you primarily playing defense okay that's the only negative side about this build is the steal rating but i'm telling you man if you play threes you're already going to have a lockdown on the floor with you but i'm telling you with a 58 perimeter defense you're going to be able to get some stops and you're going to be able to put your hand up and get a contest i promise now like i said still we're not going with any steal rating on this build now for the block we're going to go ahead and max it out to a 68 okay and take a look we get bronze chase down artist on this build okay now i want you guys to know block rating also affects your contest as well from three points now i also want you guys to know your block rating also counts for your contest at the perimeter when so when the offensive player shoots your block rating has a lot to do with your contest as well so make sure you go with a 68 and you also get uh bronze chase down artist as well so you're gonna be able to get some stops in the paint all right so now i'm gonna be showing you guys some gameplay defensively on this build for all the haters in the comment section man that's gonna be saying this build's got no defense you're gonna get cooked blah 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 okay now listen look at the look at the gameplay bro look at all the stops i'm getting in the paint right now bro i'm putting my hands up i'm jumping i'm getting chased down blocks on this build i'm six foot six with a minimum wingspan getting chased down blocks because of my 68 block rating and also my interior bro i can wall up against defenders that want to drop step i just put my hands up and i can get stops okay like i said the only downside of this build is the steal rating now if you know what you're doing you can still get plucks even without a steal rating you can play their hip and it's called bump stills you can get a lot of bump stills as you guys can see i'm getting them right now in the wreck in the park i get a lot of bump stills just by playing their hip and clicking square okay yes i don't get like crazy pluck steals but i will get in the lane sometimes and i will get those bump steals even though i have a 25 well actually a 27 uh steal rating because i'm better in two but i'm telling you right now this build gets the job done defensively you have a 73 interior a 58 perimeter a 68 block you can get stops on this build if you know what you're doing in the park in a 3v3 setting you're always going to be playing with a primary defender on the court you're going to have a lockdown you're going to have yourself and you're going to have a popper of some sort so defensively on this build you're gonna be fine you're gonna be able to get a lot of stops get your hands up in the paint and get a lot of contests from three and get a lot of chase down blocks but overall this is the build right here let me know down below in the comment section if there's any changes you would make and let's go ahead and take a look at the build name and the build name is a floor spacing slasher if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you guys want a full dribble tutorial you guys want my updated jump shot you want all my sigs let's get 2,000 likes on this video man if you guys want more build videos Leave a like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.